Hey! 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 Should have told me to bring me a Minnesota Twins hat. Damn it! Hell yeah, man. Damn it! I caught the ill yo out there. When we was in the mall, I caught the ill ass dad because you know, obviously I'm from New York. They yeah. had the crazy fucking uh, fitted for fifteen dollars. Yeah, the new era, the fitted out there was fifteen dollars in New York. Yankees joint. You we know they charge forty dollars here for them shit. Thirty five. Let's charge, charge niggas, man. I'ma get it, that's why I stay committed Watch my own back head is spinning I'm in the kitchen cooking up something stupid Yo what's good, it's DJ Thorough, aka Thorough Zano, the bridge to the streets Right now you're watching the hottest in the streets right here on thisis50.com I got a special guest in the building, straight from Minnesota, introduce yourself What's up my thugs, your boy Moneybags man, straight from Minnesota I appreciate this, Zano man, Thorough Zano man, let's get it Keep talking. Minnesota's number one rapper, man. Look me up. All right. Ain't nobody fucking with okay, me. Okay, so Minnesota. Um, when I think of Minnesota, you know the first person I think of, right? Who's the first person? Prince. Exactly. You already know. God bless it there. Prince. Yeah, rest Prince. in peace. Legendary. Legendary. Before we get into you, we gotta pay Prince the proper nah, respect. Straight here. up. What was that like when you heard, you know, the passing of Prince? Like, what was that like? When I heard about that, man, I was bugging up. But the whole city, man, was bugging up. Right. I mean, nobody could believe it. And I honestly believe that, you know what I'm saying, he had more fans than Mike, than Mike Jackson. I mean, you know, maybe. It, I mean, yeah, uh, it kind of seemed like, like, I don't know, it seemed like everybody was supporting him and shit. Right. But they painted the whole city purple. Wow. You know, did a lot of things for him. Had, like, played his music just all over the city. Man. Right. So rest in peace. Right. My favorite song from Prince is Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl? Yeah, that's my favorite I, I, song. I remember when I went out to Minnesota, and yeah. um, you showed me a lot of hospitality, and uh, I went in your studio, and I noticed you had a bunch of Prince plaques. Yeah, you had yeah, a bunch, yeah. You had, you had yeah. quite a bit of Prince plaques on the wall. Definitely. Um, now, was that recorded in there or engineered in there? What was the significance of having that on the wall other than showing it to respect the Prince? Yeah, it was mostly just a sort of respect. Okay. I never had an opportunity to meet him, but, you know, I just want to show respect to Prince. Right. You know what I'm saying? What he did for the state. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Right. Definitely. All right. So you out here in New York City. Um, what you got going on? I'm telling people, you know, what you're working on um, yeah, musically. Yeah. Um, what brings you out here? Um, well, first and foremost, you know, I came to fuck with DJ Thorough, man. I met him when we did the Cassidy concert. And, smart um, guy. This guy's yeah, smart. Yeah. Nah, that's my nigga, man. Right. So, you know, I came out here to promote the little album. I got the Money Jesus album I'm about to drop. Okay. And um, I'm going to drop it December 25th. So I get a, I get a Jesus piece, too, to go with the album? <laughs> I got you. I got all shit in the mail, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm sitting in the middle. All right. So let's talk about this song. You got a song called Wilt Chamberlain, um, featuring Cassidy yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Um, what's the science behind that? Wilt Chamberlain. Why um, Wilt Chamberlain? Why not Michael Jordan? Why not Jerry West? I got Why you. not Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Why not whatever? Yeah, what's, yeah. Why Wilt Chamberlain? Um, just you know, I was just chilling. You know, I, I seen Curry, Curry hooping. I'm like, Curry's about to break break the hundred point record. Right. And I started brainstorming. I'm like, you know what? Ain't nobody gonna touch, you know, Will Chamberlain's 100. Right. So he always gonna keep it 100. Right. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna flip that. Right. And you know, okay. make a song about always keeping it 100. You I, know. I, I thought it was because yo was fucking so many bitches. Cause you know, Will, <laughs> he, he, he fucked like hey. fucking yeah. 20,000 yeah, bitches yeah, nah, and nah. count him, You know. Hey, we still count. So but. I thought that's what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say much. You can't say much. All right. Nah. I'm gonna get this man in trouble over here. <laughs> Hey, it's all on me. <laughs> Miss, Miss Moneybags, it's all on me. Don't get mad at me. Nah, it's all nah. on me. Hey, all right. What you know, it's other niggas, you know, they all Chamberlain out here, but we still right. keep it in the honey. Right, okay. We still got one in the chamber for all these, these hating ass niggas. Right. So, so what's the music scene like in Minnesota? Because like I said, when I think of Minnesota, you know me, I'm a music yeah, dude, so yeah, yeah. I, I know music beyond my generation and from my generation or whatever. I think of the time, Morris Day. I think of Prince, obviously. Yeah. I think of Vanity Six. Yeah. You know, um, I, I think everything Paisley Park, Purple Prince, anything associated with that. That's that's what I think when I hear Minnesota. There haven't been really too many rappers come out of Minnesota that hit, hit the mainstream or whatever. So, yeah. what are you gonna do differently to make that happen, or or what's going on? What's your plan? You know. I well, actually, you're doing it now because you out here on This Is 50, one of the biggest platforms in the world, might I add. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just try to take music to the next level. Okay. Um, I just got Like Water Entertainment. It's my entertainment company. Okay. We just signed DJ No Name. 
You know, he's from Florida. Okay. Uh, Crazy Red, Hands of Time. We also got uh, Don Don the Great. Right. But you know what I'm saying? It's just about, I mean, as far as hip hop, like, there really ain't nobody really doing it, like, as far as, like, the streets. Like, you know, they got, you know, the white homies or whatever's out there, but right. as far as the streets, nobody's really doing it on this scale. So, right. you know, we're gonna go with that and just kill it. Right. So are you getting the support from your, um, Man, your, your it's area weird, though. It's oh, weird, my support thug, it's weird. Right it's like, it's either love or hate. Like, no middle ground. Like, everybody's with it or, you know, they hating times 10. Right. Like I said, my last interview, my engineer just stole my computer just because he been hating. He kind of engineer hating. you got, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, nigga. So, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Your engineer stole your computer? <laughs> yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Stole my shit. I guess it's I, more hate than love than, bro. I swear to God, <laughs> man. But that's you how you know people are doing man. it. Yeah, yeah. You need to kick his ass out. Yeah, we looking you know for him, man. We looking for him. He's running. Wow. He's on Facebook talking shit, but that's a whole different Why stuff. take your computer, though? Nigga just wanted to shit on us, you know? Everybody, all the artists' music was on there, and he just, he just, he just he was hating from day one. And just couldn't, you know, and that's how it is, man. Like, niggas is either hating, super hating, or they right. supporting, you know what I'm saying? All right, so anybody out there listening, the, the moral of the story is don't hire an engineer from Minnesota. He's <laughs> gonna take hey. your shit. Because <laughs> they hating. Fuck. I don't know what to say about that, but hey, just watch it, man. Right. But, you know, you can tell. You can tell who's real and who's fake. Right. But, All right. So, what's your relationship yeah. with Cassie? How did you How did you Cass. meet Cass and how did that song come about? Yeah, Cass is my thug. He's always been like one of my favorite rappers out here. Just because you know I'm talking about a rap, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Like nah. I, <laughs> hey, Cass, you heard that? But <laughs> you <yeah>. know, <laughs> I know my nigga Cass goes hard. And you know, when y'all first came out here, I was, you know, they had I had a middleman, right? And you know, I, I like to just do all my shit. So. Once I eliminated the middleman, and I went straight through, I was able to link up right. and do a song with him. Right. Just, just cause like I said, he's always been my favorite. Right. Yeah, I played the song Wu Tramblin on Shape 45. Yeah. I got a, um, yeah, it's on some real hip hop shit, you know, and I got a good response. So I oh, definitely want to congratulate you on that, you know. Oh, that's love. And it's not easy to rap alongside Kathy, you know, obviously he's one of the best <laughs> lyricists in the world. So Hell yeah. you, you held your love. own or whatever. And you oh, know, that's, that, love, that, that, that's dope. Cause a lot of people, you know, they get on, they get on records, they get, they, you know, they, they, they get features with records with people that they have no business being on track with. <laughs> And it looks stupid. So you definitely held you you definitely held your own. So coming into the future, what are you looking to do as far as um you got you got you got artists or whatever, or you just concentrating on yourself or what's, what's well, the plan like with that? Well, like I said, I got a um I got a, four artists I got on the team right now, and um, I'm putting on my last album December 25th. It's called okay. Money Jesus, but I'm probably gonna change the name. Right. And hopefully, you know, once I get it packaged, I can come back up and present right. it. And also, I want to present a video, man. I did with Casanova. Okay. Today on this show, man. Just okay just for the people. But yeah, I'm All gonna right. put out this last album. It's gonna change the game. It's gonna change All the right. world. Well, I got this. I, I got. I got this thing I do. It's called on the spot. And right now, yeah. I'm putting you on the spot. I need to hear some bars right now. Money bags. DJ Thorough. This is 50.com, The hottest in the street. Let's get it. Let me hear something. Let's go. Uh, Gun busts on my enemies and watch them fade away like Charlemagne's dark skin tendencies. <laughs> fade away, see you later. Most be talking sideways like Terry Fader. Mm. Cut you off like I mute the master fader. The money grows like it mutated on a nigga. Everybody been hating on a nigga. I'm an A plus, you a A cup, little nigga. Mm. I'm good with only one O. I'm gold without an L, nigga. Y'all living in the internet. I ain't buying what you sell, nigga. Behind bars in the cell, nigga. I'm getting green like I'm sell, nigga. Charged up and let the spark fly. You see through weapons drawn like on a cell, nigga. Cartoon ass niggas. Just a little something. All right, all right. That's money back. Okay. But if anybody want to get in contact right. with you for some beats or booking shows or what have yeah. you, how can they get in contact with you? Um, just look me up on Twitter. At Like Water ENT. Okay. I'm on Facebook at Pete Moneybags Brown. You can look me up at Like Water Entertainment or just fucking call my phone number at 612 666 8882. And just talk business. to a thug. The real phone know. number. Real shit. I can't do that because I got mad bitches. Yeah, I already. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
But anyway, hey, this is DJ Thorough, hottest in the street. This is 50.com. Right. When you see us, one knee us. Let me pay your respect. Let's go. Let's get it.